Hello and welcome back to the Green Zone Podcast, Ireland's favourite American football podcast. I am your host Chris, and I'm joined as always by my good friend Dave. Up here, fuck. Up here. <laughs> yeah. I'm my good me. friend Owen. Fuck up here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, we're really doing well, keeping up on our uh, release schedule for episodes. Sorry if you missed the uh, week four review we just didn't do one um but uh congratulations to everyone who won and commiserations to everyone who didn't that's all you um, need yeah why do you need all... any more depth than that no really? no no depth at all like <laughs> there's so many shows we could take a day off <laughs> go watch under center you know yeah. under center on to... april fool's day so you know just yeah. go watch that one again that that got me i, I was genuinely fooled by that it got me for about 10 seconds. Well, it was the fact that it was it, he waited until after 12, which everyone knows means yes. it's, it's, it's true. Outrageous and probably should um, have to carry on 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 accent on their center. Yeah, due to yeah the, they, they, they have the to. The gracefulness of it. Yeah. Only joke. Yeah. We don't be, miss be, it. Be the Jets of the podcast world. Every, yeah, um, every, everyone would be stuck <laughs> listening to us for, for a decent show and a couple yeah. others, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so yeah, league news. Ty Henry. I suppose everyone who has who has a show or a social media presence has talked about this. Um, but yeah, Ty Henry is injured, and he's currently prehabbing. And that dude has more mobility in his leg that's injured than I have in my legs that aren't. I, that's what I was about to say. I like I was watching some of the videos that he was putting up. And I was like. He's got like a really serious injury and he's just moving better than I am. How is this possible? Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, you know, just a gentle 50 meter sprint at 110%. <laughs> just gecko blood. Box he jumps. Us about it. <laughs> he's, he's proving it now that the gecko blood is real. E either that or yeah. he's just like, right, I need surgery on this leg, so I'm going to make it as hard as fucking possible. I'm going to like... You know, I'm gonna see how fucked I can make this. <laughs> yeah. No, Chelsea yeah. wouldn't know what if you saw oh. my expression change. Yes, I did. I thought uh, something wrong yeah. had happened. It turns out I had. Well, something wrong yeah. So wrong. Chelsea scoring a goal is pretty wrong. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. For those for those of you who have uh stepped away from the United match to watch us, Dave will keep you abreast because he has not <laughs> stepped away from the United match. <laughs> Well, Who I've scored? Got a phone. Uh, Connor Gallagher. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Ty's Ty's recovery is ridiculous. I, I I was talking to him like the day after everyone found out, um, and he was like, "Yeah, um, I tried to fix it overnight, but I'm going to have to rely on modern medicine to do its job instead." And I'm just like, "I know you say that as a joke, but..." <laughs> part, of, part of me thinks you, you're genuinely disappointed to wake up which by the way he said he thought it was sprained the man has an MCL and an ACL tear <laughs> yeah like it is, it is weird like I am not Ty Henry I'm not going to claim to be Ty Henry but I I've never seen you and Ty Henry in the same room well this is <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think like there has to, is there a time no I don't think there is no um, like I tore my ACL playing football in England and I was like, Oh, I heard two loud pops, but I'm not in pain, so I'm gonna carry on. And I played for another 45 minutes, walked home, and then had to be in a wheelchair for a couple of days because my leg just swole up like a balloon. So it, like it is one of those things. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, it, it is one of those things where you are like, Oh, I've done something really bad, but because you're not in serious dying pain. You're like, oh, I can do more. Like I, like I got no treatment on that knee. That ligament, God knows what it looks like. Probably looks like um, headphones that's been in a pocket for ten years. Like, just a total mess. Um, but I went to knee people, and they're like, "That's a strong knee." And my doctor kept saying, "Keep doing your your Kardashians, and you'll be you'll be fine." And I'm like, 
you're just this is the cheap this is nhs you're just trying to, so hard not to give me surgery <laughs> yeah Dave, I, I, i've heard one. you bend your knee and it, sh- it sounds like a bag of mixed nuts going through a cheese grater <laughs> yeah both both knees are like that now as well because the left knee's been compensating like hell for what was it 20 2017 so seven years yeah um, back when dave used to play football in america or in england, in england yeah when i was when i was an athlete yeah not me. You're still an athlete in my heart. Yeah. And, and loose. But I understand, yeah. like, the the desire to be like, you know, I can still move this. I can still do this. If it is a similar thing, like, I, I dislodged one of my ligaments and cracked my kneecap while doing it. And it was just two big, loud pops. But, like, I was never in pain. Like, I was playing football again after, like, two months. So... So what you're saying is Ty Henry, he, he shouldn't have went off the pitch. He should have just played on and he should be back within two months. No, Ty is smart. Is, 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 is that what you're saying? <laughs> Ty Ty will, will get the right treatment and will be back, you know, in 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 no time in comparison to the to the injury. But you know, I'm probably gonna get long term issues because of this knee because the NHS said I just need to keep doing Kardashians and it'll be fine. You know? Um I feel bad because Ty Henry's injury is probably ten times worse than what I did. But <laughs> that's so rude. That's not that's not at all what I've said. And the thing is I've been speaking for so long, people have turned off their heads and have just read that and went, oh, shit. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's not, we expect that's this not from a, Chris. That's not at all what I'm saying. I'm just saying I understand the instant reaction to go, oh, this isn't as bad as I think it is because you're not in dying, searing pain. Yeah. But, yeah. I think I've, <clears throat> it's one of those things that he's like, it wasn't even like a massive insane hit. Like it was this real innocuous. The photographs make it look a thousand times worse, so they do. But uh, like, it was a bump, it's a strong bump, but a bump at that. It just it's that's just the way the fucking dice decided to fall. Even yeah. like if if you go through the photographs, there's like another like ten of those like the exact same hit. Yeah. Like, like this is Ty Henry who got flipped up in the air and like landed on top of his head during the Shamrock Bowl. I was just like, "Let's go win!" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Chrissy Brooker's spine at the Vipers. You know, yeah, like... yeah. I, I was, I was permanently, permanently crippled. Apparently, um, <laughs> <laughs> don't believe everything you hear on the on the socials. Nah, it's just it is so easy done. You know, like it doesn't have to be a big nasty hit. Like you know, I think there was a few people saying like what what a terrible tackle it was, and some people saying what else is he meant to do there to actually protect himself and tie and also make an effective tackle. Um, yeah. You know, so it's just it's just one of those things. It's part of the game, and but I don't think the rebels are any are going to be any. What's the word I'm looking for? Even without Ty, I feel like the Rebels are still going to be a pretty strong outfit. They're no less of a threat. Well, I mean, uh, they are going to be less of a threat because Ty Henry is probably the best player in the country. I mean, he was the MVP last year. Um, And it's kind of like losing two players at linebacker and quarterback. But, like, you know, it's the Rebels. They went undefeated. They didn't go undefeated because of one guy. You know, Um, the one guy helped um, a a lot. But they've, they've... of, um, uh, and also, elsewhere. let's let's not forget that like Ty's not like dead and retired like that. that yeah. that's, he's yeah, the offensive he coordinator. Still there. He's still there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he broke his leg and was on crutches, he would be there with his clipboard, being like, "Right, lads, <laughs> here's yeah. what we do here." <laughs> you know, that's just so. in, like a compression band. Like, <laughs> I don't know. He's he, he's made of stronger stuff than I. I would be 100% like black and white video of me like sitting at a windowsill like, during the rain. <laughs> In the you know, like, arms of the angels. My career, as I know it, is over. <laughs> <laughs> like, Chris, you played two seasons. I'm, I, I may never play this game I love again. This game has defined my life. <laughs> yeah, someone's like, uh, I don't know, putting a TikTok compilation of 
I'm coming home in the background where you come back from like two <laughs> two week two week hangover. Yeah. I'm back from long. <laughs> Who wakes with a gummy wrist? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we hope Ty like has a super speedy recovery. Um preferably not not if it means that he's facing me, but <laughs> <laughs> be recovered, but after two weeks, be great you gotta want to face the best, though, as well. Yeah, you know. So, no, but we'll we'll talk about that. That's a fixture for down the line. Um, yeah. so right. somebody else made the uh, AFI socials radar this week. This is it Robbie Ty? He bought no, your he hair, boy. <laughs> he bought your hair, boy. Yeah. So, um, like. We said about the whole, if the Wolfhounds fundraiser gets 10k, um, like we'll shave our heads, um, and then like three, four days, five days later, like like a couple of days before it was due to like be the deadline for that, it was still on like 145 euro or something like that, and like I, I may have acted impulsively, I may have been annoyed that that didn't get much more traction so i decided i'll volunteer my hair if it reaches two grand and you know the day before i think it was like the 29th of march or something up i was like right i'm cutting dry like it's sweet i'm not gonna have to do my hair or anything and then robbie ty was like nah mate i'm gonna buy your hair (laughs) i'm just gonna buy it i was gonna take it here's two grand gives your hair um don't know if it's for WADA testing or something like that, but uh, I did. I did reach out to Robbie and was like, "Cool, do you want it in one large bag or several small ones?" Um, and he uh, told me what he talked about. So, <laughs> either... you know, we've we we we've missed an opportunity in in WrestleMania season, no less. I've seen a couple other podcasts talking about wrestling, so jumping on that bandwagon. Do you want to be friends? Let's start a wrestling podcast. I think that would be cool. Um, this is this is like uh, WrestleMania 23. There was a hair versus hair match between Donald Trump and Vince McMahon. This is kind of like that. We could have had a Robbie Ty Chris McGee wrestling match, and Chris had to lose because that was in the script. And then he could have shaved your head. Would have been a spectacular showcase for the ages. Hair Mania or AFI Mania number one. <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, forget everything I just said there. What happened was me and Robbie um, had a fight to the death. Um, yeah, yeah, us, yeah. And neither of us you died. Pick, you picked Umaga, and um, he picked Bobby Lashley to fight for your honor. Yeah, and what happened was the winner would get two grand. And then in one final act of, like, supremacy, he was like, nah, I'm going to give this back. I'll buy your hair. i got beat you and buy your hair. Where are we going with this? <laughs> no I'm idea. Saying, I was making a comparison that it's like, it's like the hair versus hair match because WrestleMania is on this Sunday, and that was a WrestleMania match. It all ties together if you're in the know, if you're in it the does. know for wrestling. And yes. there's going to be out of the three people watching, <laughs> and I know I'm not one of them. I don't have it on. <laughs> one of them is going to go, Ah, yeah, Dave gets it. I get it, Dave. They'll not comment though because they're shy. Yeah. They're not even real people. No, it's those bots. You know. <laughs> the J- people, Jersey people suppliers will... that keep contacting us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Pro Nine Sports guy. He he, he is. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. He, he didn't pay for a shout out. He didn't pay for a shout out. <sighs> the man. Um, you should you should probably um considering there's only three people here anyway. You should probably do a shout out when you're about to shave your head because I would love to see the viewers. Just like, I think that what? would be really funny. <laughs> like, I Chris is about to shave his head in the next thirty seconds, and uh, just yeah, see. right. Where, where where's the group chat? Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Oh, and you're okay. So now that we're going to do, <laughs> someone has clicked off. I'm going to say it was Owen who clicked off. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Someone's clicked back on. There, I'll just stick that in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all round three. Um, yeah. 
yeah, so I am, of course, a man of my word. <laughs> um, I will shave my head um, in approximately two minutes. Because <laughs> we had to give a shout out a time warning. <laughs> In about in about ten minutes, Chris will be in tears whilst he says, "I don't know. I think the Giants can pull it out the bag." That Viper's teeth look strong. Fuck it. I'm going to uh, transition to the hair cam. Um, give the people what they want. I will give the people what they want. And yeah. I'm just going to click here, and we're going to have a wee thirty second countdown to give my fat ass time to get down to hair cam. See you there. Just got there. <laughs> I did. I did. I didn't move with the uh, <clears throat> speed in which I should have. Are you getting help with this? Is it just no. you? How are you going to do the back of your head? Uh, badly. I'm more curious how you're going to do it at all. Well, I suppose you could just, yeah. Well, the plan is I'll do it rough and then I'll get like somebody else to fix it. Like 50-50, another reference. Anyone watch 50-50 with Joseph, Gavin, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Seth Rogen, where he has cancer and he has to shave his head, and then they're like, oh, shit, I hate it. Again, there's four people watching. Someone has watched 50-50 out of the four people. Let's be real. Yeah. I'm Well, I'm one of them, and it's not me. I thought you were going to say you were one of them, and you've seen it. I'm like, ah, Owen, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, I don't know if I should go straight in with the uh, like the nothing blade. I I I don't see the harm. Oh, it's a penalty to Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> what vintage Man United performance here? Yeah. Well, well, yeah. You know, a smart man would have prepared, but the... If you're not using the Manscaped blade, I swear. They've got to come back and sponsor. <coughs> okay, Dave. Right. <laughs> if it gets to 10 get grand, Chris will shave his balls like... Get the Manscaped. Get the ball trimmer. So, <laughs> this is the lawnmower 4.0, right? <laughs> Relative to my head... Got a tag man skipped in this thing. Yeah. Here, but but the precision, the precision difference. I'll, is... I'll use it on the uh, the sideburns. <laughs> yeah, give yourself a fade <laughs> <laughs> first. <laughs> a lo- uh, was that a low tapered fade? <laughs> right, Imagine if Chris fade. got a low tapered fade. Yeah, that's where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> All of a sudden, I really don't want to do this. I've just, <laughs> just, re- I've just realized, though, the sound of this is going to be so intrusive. How are we meant to do a preview? Well, like, <laughs> <laughs> people oh, are just going to watch this on mute. They're just going to watch you in tears when me and Owen speed. The, the viewers just doubled, by the way. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's a four. Anything for the clicks. Oh, it went uh, up to six for a second there. But, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it was at five. People, no, no, Chris hasn't started yet, so people are coming back and forth to see yeah, if he yeah. started. But he's getting, he's getting the uh, the nerves now. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, why did I even? Yeah, so, so we're going to talk about knights and minotaurs. <laughs> <laughs> I I say I say you know you just you just rip off the bandaid and go right down the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Dave, you're in charge Can of hosting because that'll be uh, otherwise engaged. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no problem. Should we start with Division One or Premier Division? Oh, uh, we'll go from the bottom up. 
go from the, the, thing, the thing, things I do for this sport. Hey! Oh, uh, your wife's probably hearing that going, oh no. One of the four, Moment of silence for poor Chris. I don't know. How, how, how am I meant to talk about American football? <laughs> I literally cannot think. I, 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 I need to sit and watch this. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> we've wasted 20 minutes, you know, and we've just got here. And I mean, like, Chris, you're near done. <laughs> Give yourself yeah, this is not taking as long as I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, so um, anyway, the, uh, the Giants are traveling up to Derry to play the Derry Donegal Vipers in Division One. While this is going on, um, obviously, we've got a wee bit more insight this week on this game considering they just played a few weeks ago. Um, the Giants coming up winners in the last seconds with a big touchdown from Jig. Jig McCoy? Why Jig. that sound around? It is Jig. Yeah, nope, Jig. That's, that's his name. For, so, for some reason, I was thinking his name was Jug. <laughs> no. Well, Dave, your mic has kind of gone funny. Uh, I don't really know. Oh, <laughs> Chris, it doesn't look oh. too bad, you know? I feel like once you finish it, it it'll it'll be fine. It's got, like, what have you got? Have you just got nothing on it? Is that zero man? I wouldn't complain. I feel like it shouldn't be. I feel like it Four should bars, be on for the zero. I love how you're doing this for five people. Yeah. A promise is a promise. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Dave. Ross McKenzie's one. Are you able to actually share that, or is only Chris's main Sh camera allowed to do that? Share the clip? Comments. No, the comments. Oh, um, ooh, that is a good. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually know I could do that. I, was, I just kind of clicked that on a whim. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh look, he's got he's got the confidence now to go up to the camera and go like, ah. um, <laughs> how the I like it? I yeah, I just talking about football. Here, Ross, put a comment in about how the uh, Giants are gonna. I didn't I didn't even know what team he played for there for a second. How are the Giants gonna do, <laughs> Ross? Well, I'm not the train at the moment. <laughs> he must have just tuned in. He must have just went. You know what? I I love and... the idea of the entire Causeway Giants like pausing their training just to huddle around someone's phone to watch Chris get his hair cut. <laughs> this isn't part of that. This is just like the other Thursday. I'm really I'm interested by the side of your head and why it's not getting anywhere near as low. But it feels like you've been shaving <laughs> for ages. The top it went off so easy. But the sides just aren't the, going. The top of my hair is thinner. Yeah, but you're using no, um, you're using nothing. I don't understand why it's not just shaving off. <laughs> <laughs> right. No. Okay. Uh, no. The Giants are playing the Vipers. Giants. And Ross won't tell us anything. Yeah, Ross. Ross has just watched for the main bit, and now yeah, that's done. Yep. Um, Giants playing the Vipers. Vipers just got beat by the Giants. Big statement win for the Giants, in my opinion, to come up from Division One to beat a yep. regular, um, a Division One regular team or mid-table team, in in the Vipers. Um, Owen, how do you see it going uh, this time round? Um. I imagine it being a pretty similar game in terms of like very low scoring and only separated by like one score because obviously now they know each other even better so they'll be better at defending I guess they'll, they'll be able to learn from it <laughs> are you going to keep like the world's worst mullet <laughs> um um yeah, I uh, I will call the Giants because Ross is in the chat and 
I couldn't tell you otherwise. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair Proper comment. Coin flip. Um, but it seems like as well, because I was actually thinking the, the last time it was a complete mud bowl, everybody, like that last touchdown, as as amazing as it was that Jig was still on his feet, the, the amount of people falling all over the place and losing footing was insane. Yeah. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? It might be a different, a different, um, different conditions on on Sunday. But we have Storm Kathleen. I don't know if you guys down south call it Kathleen as well, or if that's a UK Met Office thing to call it Storm, whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure ours is is Kathleen. Um, so chances are it's going to be another mud bowl. Um, hopefully, actually, hopefully, all four games. Actually, are on this weekend with was well, it sixty to seventy mile per hour winds and uh, it all the weather warm games on Saturday. Yeah, but you mean moisture remains for a while. <laughs> moisture <Yeah>. remains. <laughs> Can we get that on a quote graphic, please? Uh, uh, <laughs> right on. Um. Oh no, that's you know, nice like, if if we're getting weather warnings, I would think that all these pitches aren't gonna be like bowling greens the next day. Um let's see. Oh the veil center's gonna be rough. Yeah. Yeah, the veil you know. center is the the pitch is fairly soft up there, so Yeah. But like we say, uh moisture remains. Um <laughs> so it, I think it is a it is a coin flip. Um, it really depends on the Vipers have, you know, reacted from that defeat. Call it that. The bliss that that's now turned off. I didn't realize yeah. how annoying that was. Um, yeah, I, I didn't realize how annoying it was. Yes. Look at that. I didn't even have to make a banner. Michael Reed perfectly summed it up there. Um, yeah, out, perfectly Michael. had a banner. Is that, is that, is that like, like death metal band? Moisture remains. <laughs> no, because in in the context of death metal, I think that sounds horrible. There's a lot of good people in death metal, but there's some bad people in death metal, and I feel like Moisture Remains is on the. It's kind of. I was about to say Lost Profits. Lost Profits is not death metal. <laughs> not death metal. Yeah, <laughs> but for some reason, that was. The, yeah. Right. Um, so Chris is now shaking the hair off him. What a great, what a great podcast. What a, yeah, what a we are what great content this. for you guys. <laughs> yes. Um, you went, you went for Giants again, didn't you? I can't remember if I did. Yeah. Based on I'm no go, reasoning at all. I'm gonna go Giants. Well, I mean, you've got a good reason because they won two weeks ago. <laughs> but yeah, um, but it wasn't like world's most convincing win. It was like one huge play towards the end it's can yeah. they kind of recreate that magic hopefully for them but i don't know yeah i'm i'm the same i think the giants are one of those teams it was almost like the razorbacks last year <laughs> i can totally understand why people are watching this and going nah man <laughs> i'm not i'm not watching this that's too loud they, they, they're they're either they're watching it on mute or they've, they've left and they'll come back when Chris is completely bald. But oh, okay. um, Ah, genius. Genius. Now we can just watch Chris shave his head in bliss. Um, yeah, no, great. I'm the same. I, I do think the Giants will win and I think the Giants are kind of like what we thought or like they're kind of like last year's Razorbacks in the way that you know, we kind of said They'll get beat by the bigger teams, but they'll get better as the year goes on. I think the Giants will improve when they come up against improved opposition. Um, the Vipers, I think, are just kind of in a bit of a spiral at the minute where they just have lost a lot of key players and um, lost bodies in, like in general, quantity and bodies. Quantity and bodies? Jesus Christ. Do you think English is my second one? <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, but like I said, like you say, the game and the last time was such a scrap that you know, good football and solid, you know, just consistent football is hard to do when everyone's slipping all over themselves. So, hopefully, 
Storm Kathleen isn't too harsh on the Vale Center. We can actually see these two teams come out and, and perform and um just show what they're what they're made of and actually put on a good a good show. So but I think the Giants, you know, are a team with with a good bit of upside. So I think they'll get it in the end. Um I would ask Chris his opinion. Um do you have an opinion for this? I think the Vipers won with Fair enough. What's uh, your what's your reasoning? <clears throat> Like, I think it was very, very close um, at Armoy. And to be honest with you, the Vipers could have won it as much as the Giants could have. And I don't think they're going to let them make the same mistake twice. If you look at that Jake McCoy run, it is ridiculous that that was able to happen. But that was also allowed to happen by the Vipers. You know, those boys weren't after it quick, quick enough. They weren't dedicated enough to go and chase that down and put their bodies on the line. But we've all seen the tape. We've all seen what happened. And if you think they're going to make the same mistake twice, those guys, definitely not. So I think we'll be close again, but the Vipers will definitely have it. Yeah, that's a fair point. Um, just from pure mute yourself again. Just mute yourself again. <laughs> um, no, I think that's a fair point. The Vipers, you know, from when we play them a couple of times. Um, aggression is one of their big things. So a lot of veterans in that team would have saw the tackling and everything and that last touchdown and said, nope, you're not getting away with it this time. And I'm sure they've tra- they've practiced the hell out of it the last few weeks. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they show. Do you reckon um, I should use this? What? I should use this like guy. <laughs> Um, yeah, you might have to burn the shirt you're wearing because it's just going to have hair in it for the rest of your life. Um, oh. I was going to be covered in hair now. So. Yeah, right. I'm going to shake and uh, I will jump back. Oh, stay tuned as Chris shakes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we do have another game in Division 1. Um, we have the Razorbacks and the Crusaders. Another game to see where both sides are at currently. Um, we have it at New Forge at 2 o'clock on the Sunday as well. Again, Storm Kathleen, be kind to us American football fans here in the island of Ireland. Um, Owen Connolly, how do you see this one playing out in your masterful mind of minds? Uh, remind me where that's being played. New, New Forge just New said Forge. it. I know, yeah, I wasn't properly listening, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure, you know. In um, your masterful minds of mind, and <laughs> mind of minds. To be fair, New Forge is like a bowling green. I don't know yeah. if the weather would play too big a part in that, because the, the pitch is, is quality up there. Um, Yeah, both sides that I don't really know how to gauge yet. The Crusaders obviously lost to the Rhinos. I was at that game, but like it came down to the last play. And really, that game should have ended 2 0. And <laughs> like it, it, that, that's probably as exciting as it got was that one defensive play. Um, <laughs> it's just Chris. <laughs> 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 It's so hard to concentrate when he's just there doing shit. Like, oh, God. Um, I might not brush the teeth next. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I picked the Crusaders. I don't know why. I... Okay. okay. <laughs> um, yeah, like, it's a, it's a game um, where we're kind of like, right, well, where are both of these teams, you know, cr- um, Crusaders win a lot of people's playoff predictions. Razorbacks, I don't think anyone picked them. Like, I'm not even talking about Green Zone. Like, in the whole uh, podcast universe that for American football in Ireland, um, I'm not sure if anyone actually put the Razorbacks in, in that fourth spot, but they had to be somewhere in and around it. Oh, rude. That's rude. All right, so he's been in the background, but anyway, <laughs> um, you if you've missed Chris's balding, you know, you can go back and, and watch if you want. Um, not much happens, and he kind of sits it to be fair, so it's kind of disappointing, but anyway, <laughs> uh, 
Um, you know, it's it's what like where where are these two teams? Like like I was saying about the the Giants, the Razorbacks last year was you know get a few wins and improve steadily, and then next year let's see what you can do. Um, but they got beat by the Eagles, which is a team you would like to think, you know, that would have you you know you should be showing uh, a yeah. bit a bit more. Um, but let's not get it twisted. The Eagles were never a Division Two side, and they probably were a high end no. Division One side from last year as well um it doesn't well, why does it just not even look that weird i know it doesn't look that strange if anything it's actually quite a nice um i don't know if the camera it's it's not a bad line you've got going there um yeah i've also absolutely minced the fucking ears so it's just like my beard comes up and goes, can we see the back I want, can we see the back of the head i want to see if it's oh, fuck. How, how good of a job <laughs> there is there is a few i was gonna say it's not too bad and then like when you move your head you can see the like little tufts and stuff i i, oh, I can feel it my. around my crown <laughs> oh, can't wait to go to oh, this uh, christening on saturday <laughs> hello this is this this is my skinhead of a husband <laughs> everyone you've probably met before though so not, not too weird but yeah um i think i think the, for the razorbacks in a developmental kind of way this is a must win to be like you know we're not just better than the vipers and jets with the only two teams that got win over last year um and then for the crusaders they put up a tough fight against the rhinos like you say it could have been 2-0 which is which is good. You know, the Rhinos are a top team in Division 3. I think predominantly most people's number three um, pick for the year. A um, couple of twos, a couple of ones as well. Um, I think Crusaders are, are going to take it. But for the Razorbacks, they have to put on a competitive show and just to be like, we've we've developed from last year and, and we've learned. So, yeah, I'm going Crusaders. Christopher, to all. How the fuck did that happen? Oh, that's just that's just how good Man United are as a club, you know. To go two 0 down, just that's how much we we uh, we rate our our hustle, you know. Um. <laughs> that should be your new nickname. Mini rat tail. Yeah, yeah, it has to be mini rat tail, not just rat tail, just mini rat tail. <laughs> mini rat tail. <laughs> uh, if I fucking hang on, can I do this? <laughs> Can I edit this? Oh, oh, yep. Oh, what's happening? Oh, you're edit. Oh, I know what you're doing. I know. I know. There you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I put the hyphen in the wrong place. So I don't care. <clears throat> yeah, it's mini rat, not mini rat. <laughs> mini rat. <laughs> mini rat. I am <laughs> so fucking itchy. It's not even funny. I told you, you're gonna to have to burn the shirt. But I like this t shirt, I might just put it through the tumble dryer. Not wash it, just put it through the tumble dryer. Fuck everyone else. Yeah, so the hair just sticks due to static. It'll be hair yep. floating on your shirt. Um, um what, what's your opinion on this, Christopher? Crusaders and Hogs. Yeah. Um so far the hogs have beat the Jets. And even then a lot of that was sloppy. So it was they had some promising moments. Um down against the Eagles, but ultimately fell. Um, again, some people in the Razorbacks organization need to calm the fuck down, need to stop throwing temper tantrums and getting themselves ejected. <clears throat> so they do. They need to lead. They need to keep composure. If they let their emotions run them, they're going to start throwing games. You know, they probably could have taken, taken it to the Eagles, but the Razorbacks seem to have this awful tendency. The moment something goes wrong, it goes like catastrophically wrong. Um, and I think Jordan Farrell, Wello, and any other number of weapons on the Crusader side is going to wind Constable. them up. Yeah. Mm. He's in my fantasy this week, so he are going to catch a few touchdowns. <laughs> they're going to wind them up that much that they'll implode, they'll just, like, they need mental fortitude. 
I think. I think the Razorbacks are a little bit too passionate, but in, not in a good way. So they are. And the Crusaders are going to go up. They're going to wind them up. They're going to stick like, I don't know, maybe you beat them by three scores. Fair. I, I thought you meant three. No. <laughs> and I was like, eh, you know, three scores is hefty. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not trying to shit on the Razorbacks, even though I've been doing a pretty all right job of it for the last two, three minutes. But <laughs> it, 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 it is what it is. If they don't fucking keep a level head, they're going to blow another match. And there's only so many games that you get against those lower teams before you've got somebody like the Giants with a certain schedule being 4 0. Yeah, at least you can still see my hairline, brother. Oh, <laughs> that is Chris McGee's brother, captain of the Jets. <laughs> a captain of the Jets. You keep saying no, captain the, of the Jets. The captain. <laughs> he is the captain. Fair enough. Um, He's your captain. But yeah, in short, if the Razor, like, see if the Razorbacks come out and be like, right, lads, we need to stop fucking going buck daft as soon as something goes wrong. They could probably win, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, yeah, look, like it's, um, I don't think there's anything wrong with a bit of, bit of fire, but yeah, like you say, you have to control it. Um, and I just, I don't know. I, I don't see it being three scores. I see it being one, maybe two, maybe a similar scoreline that what they had against the Eagles, 28, 14. Um, cause I think the Eagles and the Crusaders are kind of like at the same level roughly, but yeah, no, the, the Razorbacks have personnel to, to dig out a win against most teams in that division um they just need to prove it and and th- th- it should be a big one for them this weekend but yeah no i think crusaders are, are going to win as well so that's our I two mean, division just, one just just kind of the bookend that um like i find myself going from being very excited about the hogs I'm very excited for what they were going to bring this season after such a like a massive season last year. I'm a bit disappointed, if I'm honest. Like, where where is the result of all the hard work? It does take time, um, you know. Like the they're outside. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? The right side. Run, contain. Is one of the no, no, no. <laughs> They're like social media. They're like oh, image. football things. Their image yeah. Yeah, has been. Oh, don't get wrong. Like, phenomenal. Insane. Absolutely you know, rep- phenomenal. In terms of represent uh, representation with the league, it's it's been phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and I think that maybe gives people a false expectation uh, for them as a club. Because what they were three years ago, is nothing yeah. compared to what they are today, even in football wise. You know, it, it's a completely different different kettle of fish altogether. Um, and so, like, yes, you, ideally you would like a steady. We're going to improve. We're going to improve. We're going to improve. But every team is going to improve. You just need to improve a bit faster, and that's what I mean. I think this game, they, they need to be competitive, and if they can grind out a win, it would do wonders for the whole squad. Um, Iowa. but yeah, I'm still Iowa. here. <laughs> that was the oh, I'm still here. Yeah. Oh, um, oh, oh, Owen's just doing a, a line of coke, so he needs to <laughs> so um, come back on. Like... <laughs> the, um, no, the, the, the Crusaders are in a, a settled space, you know, whereas the Razorback are, are in a uh, a mad, you know, we're still trying to figure things out, whereas the Crusaders know what they have, they know what they're capable of. Razorbacks are still figuring that out. I, I, um, I so just it might take want, a few more years. I, I just want the bite to match the bark. You know, like, I I, th- I, I think I've been swindled and bought in too hard on the Razorbacks. I, 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 I would love people, nothing yeah. more than to see them tear up, get like maybe sort of in f- fourth or third in that division. And I'm just like, lads, just, just fucking calm down and like do, do the thing that you're you're able to do. Effort-wise, on all aspects, you know, they get an A+, plus, you know, but development just takes time. They just have yeah. to have patience. 
Um, and like you say, you're you know, so much more level than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Whereas I'm like, I'm but, fucking heartbroken. At the, at the why do you just keep getting ejected for? Why do you keep fucking you? Why are you disappointing me so much and I don't even play for you or involve with you in any way? Um, oh, I like the Razorbacks. No, no, you know, I, I, I do think the Razorbacks will come, um, will come good and become a contender for Division One in the next few years. Um, but like I said, they're still developing and they've made massive strides. But yes, we've we have focused on the Razorbacks and Division One for a long period of time, mainly because Chris was shaving his head through it. I really yeah. hope someone joined the stream at the start <laughs> and then like I don't know, fell asleep and then woke up and Chris just no longer has hair. Like, I think that would be oh, filter so looks really funny good. with that context. <laughs> um well given that the episode's called Haircut Live, um <laughs> I wouldn't have I wouldn't have noticed it. So head <laughs> head shave man. Yeah. Um yes, moving on. We have, so we have two we 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 you what? I'm so itchy. So itchy. Again, <laughs> warned you. So anyway. We have two games in the Premier Division this weekend. Uh we have the Minotaurs and the Knights and the Admirals and the Trojans. We'll kick off in Westmeath with the Westmeath Minotaurs and the Belfast Knights in Mullingar Rugby Club. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, Owen, considering that me and Chris just had a big ramble about the Razorbacks. <laughs> and you have your... played these, well, sorry, with the Panthers, sorry. Have yeah, actually. These, so, yeah. You're more equipped uh, than all. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see the Minotaurs game, but I saw the Knights game, and the Knights looked strong. Like, that, they're, they're, they're a good side, but they had a bit of rust there. They made a few mistakes. So... I don't know. I, I, I like I didn't see the Minotaurs, so I don't know how they are. Like based on what I know of the Minotaurs, I feel like they should be better. But then, having seen the Knights, I would struggle to believe that the Minotaurs are any better based on the two scores. But yeah, so I, I'll take the Knights to win it, but only just. Yeah, I um. I think everyone kind of were like, oh, the Knights are going down. They'll be lucky to get a win this year. Um, I think that was the attitude for a lot of people. Um, I think myself included. I didn't even, I don't know if that's just like, it, it's like the opposite of the Razorbacks in that the Razorbacks have this great social media and anybody who is kind of sort of involved would go, Razorbacks are, are going to win that division or get come second. Whereas it's the opposite with the Knights, where you don't really hear too much about them, so you just think, oh, they must be rubbish, or they mustn't have a lot of players. But um, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't there for the for the Knights Panthers game, um, but they they stayed there, and which the Minotaurs didn't feel like the Minotaurs kind of got swept aside. Minotaurs got a fairly early touchdown against the Panthers, if memory serves, and then considered a couple of scores. Um, Again, it, it, I feel like I say this for every game. It's a game where we kind of find out where both of these teams are. And I think maybe along with the Vikings, they're, they're probably down those bottom three teams. Um, so Knights have always been physical, big, strong team. Uh, but the Minotaurs have good players and Joe and uh, Montero. Is that his name? Is it in, in, Rafa, yeah. And Joe and yeah. Joe... <laughs> <laughs> I got I got Montero. He's a good he's a good player. You've got um, Joe at QB. You've got Sean Dalton, Sean Dalton Dunn yeah. at receiver. You've got Dempsey and Lacey at DB. Um, oh who else? Oh, there's plenty more. I know more. Uh, Corcoran, <laughs> who plays in a position I've forgotten. Uh, oh, I know more. Tempo, uh, play. I think he plays center. Definitely plays line. Uh, yeah, there's there's loads of really talented players on the Minotaurs. Yeah, I think, and their the Min- coaching staff is great as well. Yeah, I think the Minotaurs, in terms of um, finesse, um, or just like what's the word, like plan, like like in a foot. Why can I not speak when I'm on this? Fucking <laughs> like. They they have they have more finesse. I think I got it right in the first. They have more finesse, whereas the knights are more. Let's just beat the shit out of opponents. Um, I hope some something the, comes out. The 
play that worked best for the Knights against us was hand the ball to, I think his name is Phil Henson, uh, mm. who is, as running backs go, a very large human being. And uh, That's a he weird just... thing to call on the play sheet. <laughs> <laughs> they did, no, they, they handed on the ball and he just ran straight through the middle. And yeah, he just he just kept like the line was the run blocking they have is incredible, and he is impossible to tackle. He's kind of like how Ben Aruligan was a few years ago, like just massive and very difficult to bring down. Yeah, like I think um, that's what's going to be interesting because the Minotaurs I feel like are quite a small team in comparison. Like the Knights are big against most clubs. But I think against the Minotaur is, is quite small. So it'll be interesting to see what way that works out in both sides. I think it makes it a tough game to call. Um, but I think I, I think I might go for Knights in this one. Um, I think they really they, they had a good showing against the Panthers. Um, and I think physically they just might be a bit too much for the Minotaurs. Um, so yeah, I'm going Knights. Bald Chris, Mini Rat Tail. <laughs> What's your <laughs> opinion? I'm going to get that tattooed on my forehead. Um, <laughs> if the Wolfhounds gets to <laughs> <laughs> um, like Belfast SBC teams and trench warfare are like two things that go hand in hand so they are um, I don't mean actual World War 2 trench warfare I mean more war in the trenches Dave well, what's going on Dave <laughs> what I'm fucking bald as fuck talking to you here and you're just like oh sorry I didn't realize you were talking to me I was listening I thought you were just like going on a bit of a tangent I was listening to you I just anyway. didn't realize you were talking directly at me <laughs> um, I'm not the host I just all of a sudden become the host yes you're, you're, you're the captain now um, what was I saying yes trans warfare like the knights are incredibly strong at in the trenches, I mean, you said yourself, oh, and the run block and they're able to achieve is fantastic. Um, defensively, you know, we, we spoke about Robbie, I would say last week, we haven't done a show in two weeks, but the last time we, we, we did a show, and like from I haven't seen the Minotaurs, so I'm basing this on what people are telling me, which is that line ain't great. And it's one of the most fundamental. It is the most fundamental component of what's on the pitch. And I won't give in time. The line crumbles. It's 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 over. Yes, Dave. I'm aware that I'm a line. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. If you don't it have is. a line, you can't win. But yeah, we'll let Owen say it, or we'll get a running back on or something to be like, yeah, it's definitely true. If you don't yes. have a line, you can't win. Yes, exactly. get that on a quad graphic. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't have a line, you can't win. I mean. I mean, for a start, you can't snap. Am I talking about an offensive line or a different kind of line? A bathroom key? <laughs> <laughs> Too much Coke references in this podcast, isn't it? Yes. I like it. <laughs> yeah, how have I ended up a podcast Coke addict? How does that happen? Yes, it made me making all these uh, Coke references when, like, not even four hours ago, I was like, my piss is so clean, I could sell it to, to watch. You also, you also had hair four hours ago, too. <laughs> Yeah, I did. <laughs> a wild character. <laughs> so I fucking... Minotaurs are fucked. Knights are taking them. Maybe Wait, so if have you, you both gone? Let, let me tag you on yeah, Instagram, I... I'll start back. <laughs> fucking... Stop being so harsh in these teams. Don't be like, Min Minotaurs are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> For God's Listen, sake, we have to communicate with these sh- people. <laughs> shave my head and I'm more aggressive. Can't communicate with the Minotaurs. Will let us. Not even have you both... we, have to, we have to play these teams. Sorry, go on. You've both gone knights then, have you? Yeah. Yeah. I'll change to Minotaurs then. I don't think they deserve to be Joe like, trio swept I mean, in that. I also do need like... a lift from Joe on Saturday, so better. Probably should have picked Minotaurs from the start then. I should have really, I totally forgot. Yeah. yeah. But then I did name almost the watch. entire Minotaurs he roster. In the watch. <laughs> Joe doesn't even pay attention to his own podcast, let alone ours. Uh, Joe is great on the domestic game. Dome- domestic game this season's fantastic. I will say. Oh, it's been so good. Yeah. Yep. 
It's so unfair that they just take a year off, come back, and they're better than all of us. Nah, I won't go that far. Well, you can I would. <laughs> you can get kicked. We don't take it seriously. We didn't even have an episode no. last year. And it, you want to say that again? <laughs> <laughs> the domestic game is better. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And here's us Mm-mm. letting you use our shield yeah, just... for your flag. <laughs> yeah, for this his my flag. This isn't free, yeah. you know. No, it's fair. I think, like in terms of like a, a league voice, domestic game is that we're just yeah. Kinda, uh, they um, are, they are like they're so knowledgeable compared to us. Like, yeah. oh, we're to struggling. <laughs> we're struggling to name like like you you named Joe and Rafa as if, yeah. If players. Players, you know that I know Sean Dalton. You you know that I know because it was a yeah, big but you game. also thought Sean Dalton was somebody completely different. No, you thought yes. Sean Dalton was Jordan Lacey. Right? Yes, and that yes, Jordan yes. Lacey, the DB, scored a touchdown but on I, offense I still, for the Minotaurs. I still know these names. I just was I I went in the deep end and I went a bit blank. That's all. Well, the, okay. The yeah, but I promised that, that Joe Kinahan on the domestic game would not mix up who Jordan Lacey and Sean Dalton are. But he's the quarterback for the Minotaurs. <laughs> I That's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they let slip how they like know all these things though. Did they? Yes. If you pay attention to the most recent show, they're like, oh yeah, in our pre-production meeting, and this is me- this pre-production meeting is mentioned so oh. many times. So clearly they have a script. Oh my god, they have a pre-production meeting. Our I'm pre-production I'm I'm, I'm meeting. calling out Ian Shaw and the rest domestic and mostly him. <laughs> I was gonna say, what did Ian Shaw do? <laughs> He made, he made fun of our uh, chess experts. <laughs> oh, okay. As he should. Uh, yeah. Here, the last that we got the draw. Well, yeah, the we, 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 the we got one. That, like, that was sorry, an outrageous they, prediction, by the way. Exactly. exactly. Wrong. Exactly. That was insane. Our experts are, are just fine, yeah. in my opinion. Um, but anyway. They did I, I pick, pick the, the Minotaurs over the Panthers, though. And how did that go? We It was the first week of the game. You have a first week of the season. You can't, you can, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. You, know the, that. You, you don't understand. You know there, the there, there are politics involved in the experts. <laughs> <laughs> there are multiple <laughs> leaders. They come in. Fuck that Owen guy. Vote for the Minotaurs. <laughs> I- yeah. Internationals. Uh... <laughs> well, g- g- given that the Panthers voted to abstain from being part of the experts and left, we, we technically did, yeah. Together, well, well, no, the, we we have a, anymore. yeah, we have a, what's the word? Delegate a rep. Yeah, deserter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we digress. We do have yeah. one more fixture in the Premier Division, a fixture close to me and Chris's hearts. Um, hope not as close in distance, however, um, which is unfortunate. Yeah, enjoy that trip. I, I, you like, uh, yeah. Um, no, I'm looking forward to that, but yes, it's the Belfast Trojans are traveling down to the Cork Admirals at MTU. The side pitches of MTU, please stop DMing us to tell us that it's not in right. Distance. Yeah, Chris, I'm calling you out live here because, um. <laughs> You make the graphics, okay? Yes. You make the graphics. You put that effort in. Yep. But people have been DMing you to change that yep. since it went up. Yep. Why have you not changed it? It's because I get to do a Sunday pitch update post. <laughs> but what does that mean, though? I can be all like, I'll, I'll basically say, like, yeah, I'll, otherwise advertised as fucking old Christians is actually empty. You. Listen, I'm just building... A content pipeline. Because <laughs> I keep, I keep seeing, I keep seeing this, and then I'm like, yeah, but you could still change the graphic, right? To say right. MTU. <laughs> yeah, but, but see, 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 right? See, changing the graphic. So when it go, you got to post a graphic, right? So I got to put the fucking graphic together, which actually doesn't take that long. I've got a system now, um, but then there's the fucking blurb that I write, um, and then the fucking hashtags, and then the actual tags. And then all that sort of stuff. And then you're like, right, so you've just spent like five, ten minutes doing that. And someone's like, ah, it's not here. It's like, fuck, I'll do a story. I'm not redoing everything I've just done from, I, from the get-go. Now you are. Our international friends at our sports have also put Spanish up the language wrong news. <laughs> yeah. They've, I love they've those guys. Up the wrong, 
Yeah. Oh, they're awesome. I, I don't know what their motivation is. but <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. So they put old questions, right? Yes. And we got DM'd with the screenshot. <laughs> being like, yeah, oh, because was it? it was our fault. <laughs> It, it, it was it was it was our page's fault because that's where they're getting their information from. I know, sure they beat us to the gun on most things. We were behind I, the Spanish language fun. news. They they posted afterwards, and then you know, Cork had to be like, "We're not playing there. <laughs> we're playing here, despite what media outlets are saying." Some media outlets. In fairness, you were just you were just using the information that was given to you via the league. Yes, the official XL. Oh, the yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to change. It's going to... But anyway, there's actually a game being played. Um, I've just seen a fourth uh, window pop open. and I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Why do I look so menacing? You picked such a, a dark screenshot of me probably watching United going 2-0 down against Chelsea. <laughs> He's like, mm, must. <laughs> I just uh, screenshot it. I wasn't retaking it. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna dig me into your darkness and your controversy, <laughs> <laughs> out of context. <laughs> um. Anyway. Yes. Yes. There is a game being played in MCU. <laughs> uh, the Belfast Trojans and the Cork Admirals. Owen, I'm going to you because you're in the fit of giggles, and I like taking advantage of fit of giggles. That kind of sounded a little weird and possibly wrong. <laughs> I was going to say. Owen, oh, your impartial opinion on this fixture. Um, oh, fuck. Uh, who's playing again? Trojan the Cork Admirals. Admirals and, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I am going to go based off pure football maths. The UL Vikings have played both of those teams. They drew to Cork and they got hammered by the Trojans. Which, therefore, means the Trojans should win this game, and that is the only logic I am using. That's I Declan May is that is it? Oh God, I hope that's his it name. Is Declan I think May. it's Declan on, May. On he's been ads, unbelievable me. this season. Um, but also I, you know, I might or might not have Dom Lynn in my AFI fantasy. So. <laughs> There's Owen trying to make up for everything that happened last season. But uh Ah oh, come on <laughs> <laughs> You got the win, man. You've got to go to the playoffs. Is that not enough? What do you mean we? Uh, I wasn't there. Not, that's true. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I, was, I was the ball boy there, so I was um You were big, big effort, Was I technically so. registered at that point? It don't fucking matter, right? I don't think you're registered, no. Because that would have been yeah. still that season, so we would have had to have transferred and stuff. That's oh, fine. I, I, I Hesse fit transferred immediately. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I, I, I waited a while and then transferred. Just like I don't think I'd even been shard from the last game, and I was just like, <laughs> 4G's terrible up here in Derry. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in the changing um, room, two seconds. <laughs> um, see, actually, Owen, oh, I'm going to call you out in this. See, by that oh, logic, no. then, by the logic you're using. Yeah. Do you then think the distance between the Trojans and UCD last year has been slashed? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I for a second there, I was That's trying to work out. I was trying to work out. Well, like I was like, no, they they still are just as far away from each other, like on a map. Uh, no. <laughs> Um, no, no, it's <laughs> it's that's where my brain it? went with that. I'm completely lost at this stage. I don't know what's going on. Was it 30 18? Their game was, uh, I think, um, a few weeks ago. <coughs> I have no idea. Hang on, it was 32 18. Um, and the Admirals, I think, at you know, one point were actually time with it. I just, I, I just wanted to put you on. On the hot seat for a second and be like, oh, so you're saying the difference between the Trojans UCD this year isn't massive based on that logic? We're three weeks. Isn't in. as good. massive. I still think UCD are the better side, but I mean, I would definitely be open for the Trojans joining that like two horse race we've had at the top. Little mesh. And like That's a it. three horse race, having a, having a D 
different team in the bowl for the first time in a few years, that'd be great crack. That's this is purely just for Trojan satisfaction for you to say. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm entirely. I'm doing my best to <laughs> repair public relations here. <laughs> oh, Please, uh, guys, I, I fourth, love the Trojan. The fourth is coming. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you, it is. Yeah, it is. I think yeah. so. Yeah. So you've um, you're going Trojans for this? Is that what? We're I'm doing? going Trojans. Yeah. That okay. is that is a green zone exclusive right there. Nice. I probably should have gone admirals because now they're going to get swept because you're not going to go against go against your own team. But no, no, I, I think the Trojans. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We used to pick the Jets. <laughs> yeah. <teams. laughs> Last Dave, year. No, don't be. Don't. Don't. You're, you're. You're making correlations here that we do not want to make. <laughs> no. All I'm saying is, if we're picking. No, the like Jets, you are loyal to the team, is what he means. Yes. Like, yeah. Yes. Exactly. Well, no, th this comes back to what I fucking said from the start of doing this show with green zone part um like if you go into game day and you're not backing yourself take your kid off sit in the bus don't fucking bother playing like yeah not nothing annoys me more than boys who are convinced they're losing before they've even put the pads on like just go fuck yourselves like yeah what's the point take yeah. your jersey off go play for a team you care about or stop playing just fuck off. Yeah. Like it's absolutely fine to rate the team you're playing against, but oh, still yeah. feel like you have you've prepared enough to to get a victory out of that team. Yeah. Um because like the Admirals, like um, I think even last year, I think many would have said the Trojans should have beaten the Admirals. Um and there's a lot of players at the Trojans who have never beaten the Admirals because they've been such a solid team, solidly coached team for so long. Um you know, so I think a lot of people are saying it's a given it's going to be Trojans, but the Admirals could turn up like you know they've they've played the the not the twenty twenty two Irish champions, the team that finished second, and a few weeks ago they put up a really good battle against them after drawing the team that the Trojans swept aside in the Vikings. So you don't know what team's going to turn up there on Sunday, and like I say, a lot of people don't like it, but the Trojans have to travel. It's yeah. a long, it's a long haul. Six in the morning on that. That's actually bus. not too bad. No, I thought, I it, was thought it was gonna be worse. Great. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be five. Six is not too bad. But um, you know, obviously Jesus I think Christ. you know <laughs> obviously I think the Trojans, you know, I'm a Trojan, I'm gonna think they're they're gonna win or I'm gonna pick them to win. Yeah. Um, but the Admirals are a heck of a team and a heck of a speed bump for every team that oh, yeah. in in the Premier Division, I mean, they, they, um, they are they are absolutely insane. Um, some of the talent on that squad, <clears throat> um, admirals talent on our squad as well, but I'm not going to smoke up our own nurses. Um, like the last time the Trojans beat Cork was in 2012, so it was. Oh, um, that. now if you go back the last sort of five games they played, um. Or la la last few games, let's say. So last year was the four points in it. I'd speak Trojans by what eighteen to fourteen, and then the year before that it was again one score game, twenty six twenty. Um, twenty nineteen bit more of a gap there, twenty seven twelve to the ads. Now the game before that, the Trojans won fifty four nil. So it's amazing what can happen in the season. So it is, um, and. Again, we're not going to make any wild statements. We don't do that anymore because it doesn't help anyone. The Razorbacks need to just stop getting injections. Tell me I'm wrong. The Minotaurs need to Moisture up. remains. <laughs> Moisture <laughs> remains, Dave. Um, <laughs> but no, the, the gap, there, there has been a gap between the Trojans and the Admirals for some time, and that's, that, that has gradually closed over the years. So it has. Um, and yes, we're going down. And we have a game plan. And if we execute, we should come away with the win. If we control what we need to control, if we can, you know, hit what we need to hit, like th 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 this should be our game. Um, yeah. like, but again, doesn't mean Cork are a bad team by any stretch. You know, I was maybe one of the ones that naysayed them coming into the league without um, having Stephen Hayes there, but. 
clearly Jake's doing an absolutely phenomenal job. So yes, they still put up decent points against UCD. Yeah. So they did. And you know, UCD for that game had a lot of defensive guys, defensive big names coming back. So Cork are dead in the water. Um, but this should be ours. Cork will do their jobs and do their jobs well and put in a lot of donkey work alongside it. Yeah. Trojans have to match. They have to do their job, do their job well, and throw in the effort, um, you know, as, as well on top of that, because Cork won't stop, so we can't stop. As soon as we stop, Cork take advantage and vice versa. Yep. Um, you this know, is the so... game of stamina, 100% an effort and an yep. endurance. Um, like, you just got to bring more energy and got to keep that energy level up. Yeah. Um, it's very difficult to talk about Trojan games. I'm, I'm finding yeah because you just don't know if you're saying the wrong thing <laughs> they are, are taking you know it's different when you're doing a podcast with the chairman of your club who yeah you, 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 you take a lead yeah <laughs> you you could you could you sort of jump off it but you know like i say uh we'll we'll, we'll try to be as vanilla it, it's it's going to take teamwork and a lot of effort to get the job done for both teams yeah there you go the most vanilla this, response ever this is the great thing about like not actually playing and just being on the board of a club like i know as much about my team as you guys do like i i've seen them play once and that's all i know so i can actually give a prediction whereas you're you're in training every single week with them and in those unbelievably massive film meetings which is so cool to see by the way the yeah. the post the trojans put up there if you haven't seen it trojans instagram best instagram in the league by the way uh, i'm really doing my best on i'm really doing my best on public relations here <laughs> tripling uh, <laughs> let me back into Daryl Moore. <laughs> <laughs> please let me in on may 4th it's i promise i won't bring a striped kids. jersey <laughs> it's just you with the kid the gates closed <laughs> yeah. um. but um yeah like seeing like a whole, I don't know how many members you have, but it looked like there was like 50 people sitting in there having a meeting, watching film, then going out and training. Like, that's unbelievable to see no, like, in this country compared to where other clubs are. Unbelievable to see um, when, when that is posted on social media. And yes, for, for nights like that, there is a slightly larger turnout. But that's the dedication that this team has every Wednesday. Like we go down, yeah. we have a meeting, we go out, we we put stuff in in the action, we put it out in the pitch, um, and that's like I, I was going to make the point before you went in that beautiful speech about how great the Trojans are, <laughs> um, about like genuinely this season's been a massive eye opener for me, um, oh yeah, for like you know I I I was on the fence of like just giving the sport up, just doing the podcast, you know, and then join this team like it's insane the energy the the atmosphere of it. And the fact that everyone is so insanely dedicated to the same goal, it's just class. Yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure other teams are very, very dedicated, but this is my first time experience. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, and that's it's, the thing. Oh, you go ahead, Dave. Uh, it's nice to turn up to trainings, not having to worry if you're going to get a scrimmage at the end of it. Yeah. You know, that, that's kind of where we were. Uh, last year um yeah but sometimes it, turn up for training and then you would just play flag instead yeah you know when you're like um, waiting for a game bullshit and i do uh obviously you know this is our first year at the trojans but i think a lot of people that have been there a couple of years would say compared to last year it's different gravy everyone's just seems to be on it and the thing is like you know i'm sure there's some coaches with statistics on the meetings and things but it's it's the same numbers Sunday Wednesday, you know it's it's the same numbers um, week in week out. You have a few people who have other commitments, but like you always are sitting in a room full of people with the same goal and people who are clued in at, at all these um, at all these sessions. And it is in terms of a uh, organization, it's, it's fucking organized. Like it's it's class. Yeah. sorry oh. to. to for all the Trojan love. Script, this, this is the Trojans half hour. So It is coming, <laughs> it is coming straight from the heart. It um, is. 
and that breeds it. Like, see, when you get a big turnout of training, everyone's like pumped and ready to go. You can't wait to get back. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's not. It makes your mood better. Sometimes oh, yeah. you go down to training and you go, ah, oh, you know, it's a Wednesday night. Like I've had a long day at work or whatever. And then, like last night, for example, you know, we I came back from training feeling lethal, skipping home almost. Yeah. Um. You know. Yeah, Jimmy York helps. Jimmy skipping. helps massively. Yeah, Jimmy. He's like I the, love that guy. The greatest hype man, yeah. like this league has ever seen. Oh, he's unreal. Yeah. I met him at one Wolfhound session, and it was the best crack. And he's so yeah. knowledgeable. It's insane. You oh, know, he's unbelievable. At, at every position as well. Like, um, yeah, yeah. Um, we do a couple of sessions with him on on Tuesdays or or Thursdays. He takes different skill groups, and he just. The knowledge is is insane um yeah and he helped me out with like he just looked me up and down with a stance and he told me this one thing and i'm like oh my god you've changed yeah. my life how <laughs> on earth have you just looked at me he goes i watch you on tape you're doing that wrong if you do it like this i'm like seriously <laughs> that that's so simple yeah. brilliant but um yeah um look we're at an hour and 60 minutes we're talking about the Trojans for the last 45. <laughs> yeah, one of, us has, one of us has lost their hair. Yeah. Some of us have talked about cocaine. Some of us have had a graphic made. This is Moisture Remains. Uh, we've had a consistent viewership of about... Uh, a consistent viewership of about five. <laughs> to the five. And I'm not doubting that one of you have it on. I, I don't. Owen has it on. To the four. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, you know, we've got Ross, Michael. I'd say Michael's been there the whole time, he's got two comments, so I, I bet you Michael's still here. <laughs> and and the other Michael, um, I'm sure he's still around, or maybe he's just wanted to watch his brother shave his head. Yeah, that's uh, exactly uh, what it was. He listens on Spotify, that. yeah. I'm he sure, I'm sure once when he when it's not uploaded to be like, Why don't you love me anymore? One, <laughs> once, once words out, and once we can get a clip of you shaving your head, there'll be a few more. Few more views, but well, me anyway. and you just fumble over trying to talk yeah, about the ways of Max. No one, no one, no one gives a shit about what we said at that time. But anyway, well, a, a, I, an apology to those teams. Yeah, well, I, I'd still apologize for Chris. <laughs> Chris, Chris <laughs> went hard on a couple of the teams, but that's just Chris. Tell me, I'm on. Yep. I, I shaved the head. The, the testosterone's up. I'm like, go, 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 go please, up. please don't <laughs> implicate me in any of your opinions. No, Owen has turned a leaf, and he now loves the Trojans. His sick second favorite team. I I actually never didn't like the Trojans, apart yeah, from that one day. Let's just leave it on that positivity. Let's just leave it. Michael Reed is still here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Do we have like anyway, a top yeah. fan badge. Possibly. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to leave Michael Reed's comment there. I have been Dave, and I have been joined by Chris and Owen. We'll see you when we see you, and Chris will have a bit more hair then. Yep. Bye. 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 <laughs>